Hello everyone, welcome back to the Reliant Disc Golf Channel. I'm out here today with Discmania's brand new stock S-Line uh, plastic. Today we will be doing a review of the S-Line FD. These will be released February 22nd. Make sure to pick yours up in the link below. I'm gonna throw this on a couple different shots, uh, hyzer, flat, and hyzer down the middle there, hopefully. And then I'm gonna show a comparison of the old made S-Line stuff, and then also a stock C-Line, just so you can see kind of where that lines up with it. Hand feel of this old, S or of the new S-Line stuff is, is pretty sick. Compared to that old S-Line stuff, I think that you guys are gonna be pretty happy with how this turned out. It is money. Just a little, a quick thing on the wings here. This is the old S-Line wing and the new S-Line. Sorry, my shaky hands. But I noticed that the new S-Line FD has kind of a gradual curve up on that wing there. Whereas the old S-Line ones, they're kind of straight and then just one quick jut down on the wing. Let's get throwing it. I'm getting cold. The orange S-Line FD is 171. So let's start out. I'm gonna throw hyzer with both this and the uh, max weight blue one. Yeah, that was, I hope I didn't just stand in front of that. That would be really sad. Because um, that was sweet. That was like my best hyzer throw. I'm gonna throw this one with hyzer max weight. A little low, but you can see how it wanted to flip up there. One thing to note, it's a little breezy right now, so um, got a slight tail, but not much. So first throws, wow, I'm out of shape and it's cold. You could see that it wanted to flip. The 171 gram, I got to flip up and turn a little bit. The blue one I threw low, but it's still on hyzer flipped up. So yeah, let's give it a rip flat and then we'll do Anheuser and then we'll compare them to these other two. Yeah, dude. Just, just look at it. Just an easy like turnover shot through it flat. Maybe like 60% power. All right, this is the 171. Look at that, dude. Guys, if you, if you aren't buying this disc, you're making a mistake. Just letting you know. I'm gonna try to put these on Annie. I think so far it's like exactly what I wanted out of an S-Line FD, out of an FD period. For me, the C-Line ones have been a little bit more overstable. I want something that I can kind of smooth out there and it just flips up and goes straight. And if you saw those last four shots with it, that's exactly what it is. So yeah, let's throw some Annie shots. If you've watched any of Reliant Disc Golf, which you should subscribe, because we do fun challenges and stuff. Um, we will be doing a nine hole challenge with the, all the new S-Line stuff and also reviews of the S-Line PD and DD3. So subscribe, turn that bell on so you can keep following along. There's also people on this channel that are way better than me, like professional sponsored people. So I, I don't know if I've finished that thought. If you've followed our channel, you know Anheuser's not my shot. Yeah, kind of what I expected. Because when I throw it flat, it wants to turn, so I didn't expect that to fight out too much. Here's the 171 FD. I'm gonna really try to rip on it this time. See if I can get it down for a roller, maybe. Not quite a roller. Held that line the entire way. Uh, didn't really want to fight out. I'd be interested to see when the weather changes if it's a little bit different, because it's below freezing here today. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab those and then we'll compare them to the stock C-Line and the old S-Line. As I was running out there with my out of shape self, I did realize the wind is kind of a cross tail there. So I think that held that a little bit further than normal um, on that Anheuser. I think it would have fought a little bit more. I'm gonna throw all these on a touch of hyzer, try to replicate the same shot straight down the middle. So we'll start with the new S-Line stuff. Here is an old S-Line FD. I think I put a little bit more hyzer on that one, but 
it's almost the same thing. That might be a touch more stable, honestly, which I thought the other way around. I thought that new S-Line stuff would be a little bit more stable than that. I have used that old S-Line FD a handful of rounds, but honestly, it's like pretty much brand new. All right, stock C-Line. This one's pretty much brand new. I know it's dirty. It was wet out here. Stock C-Line from the Black Mystery Box. Be like that. It's not flipping. That thing doesn't flip at all. I'm gonna go grab them, throw one more each, throw them flat. See if I can't get a little bit better angle control on that. But guys, it's here. The new S-Line stuff is sick. Like everybody's, everybody's been talking about like, oh, I can't wait for Dismania to have stock S-Line that's not $25. And I hear you and I agree. This stuff is worth the wait and worth every penny, I think. All right, I'm gonna throw flat with all these again and see, just so you can compare them. I still think like starting out of the box stability wise, this one might be a touch more understable than my old S-Line one. And that's what I've been looking for because this stock C-Line ones are kind of beef. I think we can all agree on that. Obviously, if you're throwing 450 plus, it's not gonna be beef for you, 400 plus. I throw probably 350 golf shot. Um, it's like 390 to that house. It's slightly downhill. So yeah, let's just go ahead and throw these flat one more time and then I'll give you guys my end thoughts. Stock gasoline. We're just gonna act like that didn't happen. Dude, come on. Dude, smooth it. Like, we got a little bit of a crosswind. I get that it's keeping it up, but. Look at that, man. Holy smokes. That's every bit of 350. Uh, old S line. Got it on hyzer there. Dude, that one belongs too. Yeah. Same, like that one I got on hyzer. I did think I, the wind got under it a little bit, you could tell, but it's it's here. It's the replacement is back. Okay, stock C line. You know it wind got on it a little bit and pushed it but it dumped at the end this that stock s line didn't want to dump it just kind of pushed forward the whole ways all right so final thoughts the this new stock s line stuff almost identical to the old stuff in the flight i think it has more to do with the uh differences in mold than the uh difference in plastic because honestly guys you can't really tell a difference this is maybe just this stuff's a touch more slick than the old S-Line stuff. Definitely more understable than your stock C-Line stuff. I'm probably honestly gonna keep both in the bag, the new S-Line and the stock C-Line, because this guy will fight winds a little bit more. You saw that last shot, it like, I got it flat and I got it to drift a little bit and then it dumps hard at the end. Whereas this stuff, you put it flat and it, if you throw it hard enough, it's gonna drift right for you. And if you throw it flat and just kind of smooth it, it's gonna just go dead straight. Make sure to comment down below what stock S-Line disc are you most excited for? This disc might be my favorite disc, period. Guys, this disc is for anybody. Like you, if you're a brand new disc golfer, can't throw it 200 feet, this thing is for you. If you're a Caleb Bruce, 450 feet throwing, some of you are gonna say, he doesn't throw 450. He does, I've seen it. I have to play against it like every week. <laughs> Like you can control this, you can hit some sick hyzer flip ups, dead straight, um, it, like controllable disc a lot. You point it and it's gonna go there. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, stay reliant, baby.